Now to Project Drive Safer, TMJ4's year-long effort to combat reckless driving. Now during our coverage, our team has seen poor driving everywhere. But the I-Team saw it somewhere some might least expect. Sean Gallagher takes us there and tells us more about the changes in enforcement over the years. There's another one. That first truck, reckless as all head up. No plates on that one is either, and quite fast. Meet Harrison Kern. Wow, that's definitely. crazy. Now, he definitely would have been pulled over, stopped, and got the car, car is now. A retired Milwaukee police officer. He's getting it in. 44? Yep. He's would you have pulled him? Yeah. He says when he was on the streets from the 80s to the early 2000s, they pulled over drivers like this all the time. And it's fast enough for me to pay attention to it. But now he says, police are not. We watched this problem go from bad to epidemic. In 2017, MPD issued over 70,000 traffic tickets, but last year, 33,000 tickets, a 53% drop over five years. Kern says it's so bad now, drivers like this. This car looks like it's flying, that car's flying. Wow, 63. I told you, I, I could look at it, tell you, I told you that car was flying, I could see it all the way down. Are speeding right past the police station on Fond du Lac Avenue in Sherman Park. So that's more than double the speed limit right outside of District 7. Correct. In front of the front door. People get accustomed to anything that you allow them to get accustomed to. What message does that send to drivers when they can see other people driving as erratically as they are directly outside of a police department? I'm sure it, uh, it weakens the faith a little bit. Milwaukee Police Inspector David Feldmeyer admits enforcement has changed over the years. When we see that the numbers are lower, is that indicative of good enforcement? It is indicative of uh, the enforcement we're doing based on the personnel that we have, um, the, the focus that we have as far as the type of um, violations that we're stopping. On top of trying to balance that with all the other responsibilities that we have in keeping this city safe. Fewer officers, an uptick in violent crime requiring MPD's attention, and a change in strategy are the reasons for the decrease, according to Feldmeyer. We have focused more on the more egregious uh, types of driving behavior, uh, so we're not just casting a wide net and just pulling over anything. Uh, we're looking for those individuals that are really causing harm to the community uh, through their, their reckless driving. Is reckless driving today better than it was five years ago across the city? I guess it depends on who you talk to. Um, I would like to believe that it is and that we are having an impact. I haven't heard one person argue that things are safer out here on the street than they were a while ago. Inspector Feldmeyer says a decrease in total crashes could be proof that MPD strategy is working. From 2021 to 2022, total crashes are down 12 and a half percent, although deadly crashes are higher now than they were pre-pandemic. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. All right, Sean, thanks. You can now watch our Project Drive Safer Stories wherever you stream. The schedule for the show is there on your screen. Just download the TMJ4 app on your preferred streaming service.